meal don't do much eating in their dining room these days. It's their studio, where the two share a passion for getting their creative ideas down on paper. It's supposed to be a hobby, but <laughs> it's kind of taken over our whole lives here. <laughs> The couple met working at Sylvania. Rick, a mechanic, Roxanne, an inspector, a role she's carried over to their paper art business. Um, yes. <laughs> I'm still the boss, yes, <laughs> if that's what you're asking. <laughs> she's like a perfectionist. Everything has to be a certain way. And sometimes she'll make something. I don't see anything wrong with it. And she'll say, oh, this didn't come out right. And she's pulling it all apart. And it's like, no, it looks great. <laughs> Tired, they work a different assembly line. No machines here. It's all made painstakingly by hand. The cuttings, I think, that I may have used a laser, which I think I should take as a compliment because obviously it doesn't look handmade, although handmade is what it is. So it makes such a difference when people know that it's handmade rather than cut with a laser or something we bought and stuck in a frame. The O'Neills sell their paperwork at art fairs. They started their business Quillusions after gifting a quilled wedding invitation to friends, similar to the one they were given when they got married. I said to my husband, we're both crafty people, so we should be able to do it. Well, the first week, that was not so. <laughs> It was very difficult to get that paper to twirl around and not do the spring this way or be too tight. You couldn't do anything with it. A lot of trial and error. We finally got the invitation done. And of course, we brought it to work, show everybody. And people, oh, make one for me. And I've got a wedding coming up. And so that's how it started. You can follow Roxanne's paper trail all the way to her childhood. Her father owned the Antrim General Store and often brought home old wallpaper books. My paper dolls didn't have any faces. They were just dolls out of cardboard. But their, their dresses were absolutely beautiful. Now she makes origami dresses and turns old wallpaper, even cereal boxes, into jewelry. There's a secret to how I make them look alive, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Roxanne loves working with textured pages, and the best she's found may come as a surprise. It's elephant dung paper. Which comes from either Thailand or Sri Lanka. Um, it's, 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 it's the ultimate recycled, we call it. Rick is a master at quilling, also called paper filigree. If you roll it too tight, then it doesn't expand. If you don't roll it tight enough, then it all expands, so the whole center is empty on it. So you, you have to get used to how to how to roll it. And different things have to be rolled differently, different tension. The pots are made by you. Yep. Look at the leaves on this. When we first got into quilling, I thought quilling miniatures were neat. But they didn't look real, they looked kiddish to me. So I said, mm, if I'm gonna do it, the pots look real. But if I'm gonna make them, I'm gonna make them look real. Small the better. Ever since I was a kid, I liked small things. I have always collected tiny little things. Roxanne has a green thumb when it comes to cultivating these teeny tiny flowers that are about the size of a coin. How do you do that? You don't even use a magnifying glass. No, I take my glasses off. I can see better without my glasses. <laughs> There's no way I could do that. I'd have things all over my fingers and glue in my hair and uh, no way. <laughs> it's amazing. Some of them I punch out with a, a shape. Uh, some of them I punch out and I don't like that shape, so I cut it in half and that becomes the shape. That's a little flower right at the top there. Yep. That is like yeah. the top of a pin. And the dirt is also paper. Wow. That's amazing. All the detail, and it's mm, so tiny. I love detail. Detail is what makes, what makes it, <laughs> it's the details. All these years later, these two are still collaborating. Their projects certainly look good on paper. We used to work together at Sylvania. 
People always say, how can you work with your wife? You know, why, why, why would you want to be with her all day and all night too? I said, well, that's, that's why we got married. He's part of me. He's my friend and part of, part of me, that's all I can say. They're on a constant paper chase for their next big idea. So much you can do. Uh, you know, you can twirl it, you can cut it, you can wet it and shape it, you can... It's, it's probably one of the easiest things to work with. That's, you know... And, and there's so many... We have so many ideas, like I say, we sit across the table from each other and say, what if we did this? Or, or what if we made this? And say, well, next year. <laughs> We've got enough to do this year. Wait till next year. So we have all kinds of ideas for stuff that we haven't even tried yet. Mm -hmm.